Hi all folks, this is Max from HTCEvoHacks.com. So I've got the uh, ROM um, installation video of uh, Synergy ROM with all the extension for file system so it makes it super super duper duper faster. Um, so get into, uh, if you're on HBoot uh, 1.50, um, you'll have to uh, boot into FastBoot, but I'll show you again. Just so you guys can just install this one because I think it's one of the best ROMs out there. Um, you can take the battery out and do it. Take the battery out and then boot into uh, HBoot, even if our uh, bootloader. Hold down the volume down and then the power button. I'll just walk you through because there's two files you have to install. And once you're here, um, if you're on HBoot uh, 1.4 um, or 1.3, if you're not on 1.5, you can just go straight to recovery and install this ROM. So you can skip to this step. For everyone else who has HBoot 1.50 like Beam, hit the power button and then connect it to your um, computer via a USB cable, right? And it should say fast boot USB like that. And then we'll go to the computer. And next, what you'll do is go into the directory that you cop. Uh, you had the when you rooted your phone, you should have root evo 3d new. That's backslash this way. It's not a W. That's my Korean font. Um, and then do dir to see what the files you have. And you got to boot into uh, your recovery from fast boot because otherwise you can't. Flash the kernel, um, the overclocking kernel. So type fast boot, uh, boot cwm dash 4.0. It's that file right there. And then it'll basically it'll boot into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And um, from here, let's just zoom in real quick. Um, you'll choose uh, mounts and storage. Or if you've you, if you've copied you can co also copy the uh, files over from uh, when when it was booted up you can do that but I, I didn't so I'm gonna go to mountain storage go to mount USB storage and then it should show up as a disk drive on your computer and there's two files to copy over synergy underscore format uh, data that file so I'm gonna copy it over to my uh, E drive, which is my Evo 3D that just connected. Alright. And there's also 101911-Synergy RSL 1. That's it. Copy that over too. I already copied it over, so I'm not going to do it. Just copy it over. And when that's done, let's go back to our phone. Um, I know instructions are already on my site, but some people have a hard time finding it, so I might just make one just for this ROM because I really like it a lot. Um, go back and hit the power button. Go back and hit the power button. And here, what you're gonna do is uh, wipe data factory reset. Of course, I've assumed that you use Titanium backup to um, backup all your uh, apps before you do this because it's gonna wipe everything. Um, wipe data factory reset. Say yes. That way, you can restore all your apps after you install the ROM. So you don't have to go manually install everything. I highly recommend you buy the um, the pay version, which is only three ninety nine. Especially if you're gonna think about installing a bunch of different ROMs, because it makes it, your life so much easier. And uh, next, what we're gonna do is uh, install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card. Hit the power button. And then we're gonna find that first file we copied over just now, which is data dash extension for dash formatter dash sign dot zip. Hit the power button, say yes, hit the power button. Basically what this does is um, formats your data and system as extension for file system. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically the Android, uh, well, the Evo 3D comes with, I think, uh, um, the regular, I forgot what it's called, but Android file system, which is slower than extension for file system, which is native to the Linux system that's running on your phone. Anyway, by doing this, your file I.O. system jumps up like two to five times faster. Um, so your phone is much smoother, runs much faster. Uh, and of course, it's, you know, 
great. So this should take like three, four minutes. And when this is done, oh, you know what? Did I use the right one? Oh. Oh, you know, it wasn't that one, sorry. It's supposed to be, um, no, that one's for six cents. It's actually Synergy format. Um, so I gotta go back and copy it over, sorry. Let me copy it over real quick. Oh, you know, I did copy it over the right file. I just, that's the other one for another ROM. Um, choose the Synergy format underscore data underscore extension for file. Um, optimize, sorry. Hit the power button. Um, choose it from SD card, sorry. Ah. This button's just kind of very sensitive. Okay, let me install zip from. Um, sometimes it'll reset the back button, then you just gotta keep pressing up. Install zip from SD card, choose it from SD card, and then the synergy underscore format underscore data extension for that one. Um, hit the power button, and yes, hit the power button. Sorry, it took me. A little bit while I use the other. The other one I think it works for data, just data. But this one I believe use uh, also formats the system form. Well, yeah. So install this one. Um, sorry, it's kind of make confusing. I don't have two files, so just just zip the um, the synergy format data, and then choose it from SD card, and then choose synergy. Oh. 1019-synergy-rls-1.zip That's it. Hit the power button. Hit the power button. And uh, I reviewed actually this ROM like two months ago and now it's like, like so much faster. I couldn't believe it. I just tried it today. Um, but they've done a ton of great job. Um, so I'll be, I'll be back when this complete formats and then we just have to reboot and we should have the new, uh, the latest Synergy ROM on your EVO 3D, which I highly love it right now. Um, so I'll be back. Hi right, folks, so it's done. Um, go back and um, select reboot and you should be all good to go. And reboot system now, hit the power button and it's gonna reboot. And I'll just show you the boot animation real quick, what it looks like. And then it should take, the first time it boots, it might take a while because it's doing stuff. Um, but after that, it should be all good. I'll just show you the boot animation real quick. So it should pop up real soon, just about now. Um, okay, I'll, I'll stop this video until it comes out. Here we go. Um, so that's the Synergy ROM. Um, I've tried so many ROMs, but I always, you know, I ended up coming back to this one because this one is the fastest. And, you know, this extension 4 file system has been implemented correctly on this ROM. And the other ROMs, I don't know, they have extension 4, extension 4 file system. It doesn't seem like it's actually, um, they implement it right. I'm not going to point, I'm not going to say which ROM it is. But just saying, Synergy ROM is really good now. Um, so I'll have a, a video on full review of the Synergy ROM with the latest and uh, I've been getting like really high scores near 4,000 on Quadrant so I'll prove that to you um, when this boots and um, yeah when this boots I'm, I'll be back hi all folks so it fully booted um, it's got a cool um, screen like that I'll have a full review on this but I just wanted to make um, video on how to install it real quick for those of you who are having trouble, I made it again. So, see y'all later. Thanks. Bye-bye.